this is going to surprise you, but this is data from 1923 through 2020. Yet Williams points out that just going by the calendar for nearly a century, stocks have started to start have started rallying around October 29th. Doesn't always happen, but on average, the period from late October, let's use, don't say the 29th, let's use late October, through late December is typically the strongest time of the year for the market. In the past, short sellers have consistently been punished and the longs have consistently been rewarded. Now, I think you got to approach this the same way we approach that late September swoon. That's historically been the worst time of the year for over two de decades. So we told you to be extra cautious. We didn't know why the market might get hit, right? But if we knew this was a period of heightened risk when the market tends to be fragile, maybe that's all we needed. By the same logic, I can't tell you why stocks might run starting at the end of the month. But based on what Williams is showing us, we're heading into a period of heightened rewards, as if the pieces of information that come out are viewed positively. It's not just a seasonal pattern. Williams also likes to hunt for non-seasonal cycles. These are patterns that seem to repeat in a given security. Take a look. Right now, the most active cycles have been a 47-day cycle and a 150-day cycle. According to Williams, they're both forecasting a meaningful low at the end of October. So we've got two different chart techniques that are both calling for the same outcome. That's called confirmation. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.